The work happening at the Muskrat Falls site isn't sitting well with some Labradorians. A few of them came out today to the site to voice their opposition to the project. Here and now's Peter Cowan was there. Muskrat Falls is busy right now with construction work, but that work has also brought out protesters. It was a small group today, just four people. But with their flags and signs, they want to get the government and Nalcor's attention. They don't want Muskrat Falls developed. To me, it's blatant disrespect and disregard. I don't know how much louder Labrador could have said at those environmental assessment panel discussions. We don't want this. There's other ways for us to develop and grow, and we don't have to destroy our land or waters to do that. Stop Nalcor! These protesters say the destruction has already begun. Work is happening on the south side of the river to build an access road, and part of this popular walking trail was clear-cut to build a power line to the site. To walk down through that trail, the trail doesn't look like our trail anymore, so they've already started the clear-cutting, so we need mine here to make this stop. And before anything goes forward, that we stop the damming of this, fa of this falls. Nalcor has said the work here is needed to prevent delays and keep costs in check. These protesters are afraid Labrador won't benefit from this construction project. They'd like to see other ways to meet the power needs. We're going to invest. Let's invest in the future. This is the future. Solar, wind. Everywhere you look around the planet, Germany, all those countries, they're doing amazing things with solar. The people here say this won't be the last gathering here at the site, that as the work continues, so will the protests. Peter Cowan, CBC News, Muskrat Falls.